I started living more from trust. Trust instead of trying to fix everything, because I'm a fixer, normally. Made more space in my life to go into nature. Watch less television. I started to play an instrument recently again. I'm more vulnerable as well, which is not a bad thing. Because I try, <laughs> try my whole life not to be vulnerable, but actually I have to be that, to be really happy. And to find really connection with my partner as well, and with my kid. And yeah, I, I don't have to be the strong one anymore all the time. And I don't want to be that. In the ceremony, even though, yes, I got more open and more sensitive, there was a moment where I became very grounded and also felt very centered and very strong. And this is something I'm not too used to in my daily life. And that was very touching and just beautiful to feel inside myself. And it felt like there was this voice or message. It doesn't go with words, but just something that comes across that let me know, don't you know you are this strong already? Don't you know that this is what you are? And that I had nothing to be afraid of. I really wanted to change my yeah, view about love, or maybe better to say the way I love people, the way I love myself. Yeah, it was always troubled. I couldn't love wholeheartedly, especially my partner. And I was, um, yeah, we were in pain. During the ceremony, I, I really, it, it was so powerful. I stepped into the shoes of my beloved. And, and via them, I saw the way I acted. Obviously, a, it, a lot changed. My, my role or my position changed from the guy that's standing on the top of the, the mountain. You have to come here to uh, shepherd. That was my biggest insight in the, in the ceremony. You know, your real position in life is being behind your beloved, support them. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it makes me happy <laughs> that, uh, that I did this. Yeah.